Hi kids, today we're going to make a cloud with a rainbow on it that's going to help us remember the story of Noah's Ark. In the story we're going to learn how faithful God is and that God always keeps his promises for us. So here's the story. A long time ago, many of the people in the world became wicked and fewer and fewer of them grew up to be good men and women. All the people lived near together, and few went away to other lands. So it came to pass that even the children of good men and women learned to be bad, like the people around them, and no longer did what was right and good. But even in those bad times, God saw one good man. His name was Noah. Noah walked with God and talked with him. And Noah had three sons. God said to Noah, the time has come when all the men and women on earth are to be destroyed. Everyone must die because they are all wicked. But you and your family shall be saved because you alone are trying to do right. Then God told Noah how he might save his life and the lives of his sons. He was to build a very large boat, as large as the largest ships that are made in our time, very long and very wide and very deep, with a roof over it and made like a long wide house in three stories, but so built that it would float on the water. Such a ship as this was called an ark. God told Noah to build this ark and have it ready for the time when he would need it. God said to Noah, I'm going to bring a great flood of water on the earth to cover all the land and to drown all the people on the earth. And as the animals on the earth will be drowned with the people, you must make a large ark, enough to hold a pair of each kind of animal, and several pairs of some animals that are needed by men, like sheep and goats and oxen, so that there will be animals as well as men to live upon the earth after the flood has passed away. And you must take in the ark food for yourself and your family, and for all the animals with you, enough food to last for a year, while the flood shall stay on the earth. And Noah did what God told him to do. Although it must have seemed very strange to all the people around to build this great ark where there was no water for it to sail upon. And it was a long time because the ship was so big that Noah and his sons were at work building the ark which God had told them to build. While the wicked people around wondered and no doubt laughed at Noah for building a great ship where there was no sea. At last the ark was finished and stood like a great house on the land. There was a door on one side and a window on the roof to let in the light. Then God said to Noah, Come into the ark, you and your wife, and your three sons with their wives. For the flood of waters will come very soon, and take with you animals of all kinds, and birds, and things that creep. Seven pairs of these that will be needed by men, and one pair of all the rest, so that all kinds of animals may be kept alive upon the earth. So Noah and his wife and his three sons with their wives went into the ark. And God brought to the door of the ark the animals, and the birds, and all the creeping things of all kinds. And they went into the ark, and Noah and his sons put them into their places, and brought food in enough to feed them all for many days. And then the door of the ark was shut, and no more people and no more animals could come in. In a few days the rain began to fall, as it had never rained before. It seemed as though the heavens were opened to pour great floods upon the earth. The streams filled, and the rivers rose higher and higher, and the ark began to float on the water. The people left their houses and ran up to the hills, but soon the hills were covered, and all the people on earth were covered. After forty days the rain stopped, but the water stayed upon the earth for more than six months, and the ark with all that were in it floated over the great sea that covered the land. Then God sent a wind to blow over the waters and to dry them up. So by degrees the waters grew less and less. First mountains rose above the water, then the hills rose up, and finally the ark ceased to float and lay aground on a mountain. But Noah could not see what had happened on the earth, because the door was shut and the only window was up in the roof. But he felt that the ark was no longer moving, and he knew the water must have gone down. So after waiting for a time, Noah opened a window and let a bird called a raven. Now the raven has strong wings, and this raven flew round and round until the waters had gone down, and it could find a place to rest, and it did not come back to the ark. After Noah had waited for it 
a while, he sent out a dove, but the dove could not find any place to rest. So it flew back to the ark, and Noah took it into the ark again. Then Noah waited a week longer, and afterwards he sent out the dove again. And at the evening, the dove came back to the ark, which was its home, and in its bill was a fresh leaf, which it had picked from an olive tree. So Noah knew that the water had gone down enough to let the trees grow again. He waited another week and sent out the dove again. But this time the dove flew away and never came back. And Noah knew that the earth was becoming dry again. So he took off a part of the roof and looked out and saw that there was dry land all around the ark and the waters were no longer everywhere. Noah had now lived in the ark a little more than a year and he was glad to see the green land and the trees once more. And God said to Noah, Come out of the ark with your wife and your sons and their wives and all the living things that are with you on the ark. So Noah opened the door of the ark and with his family came out and stood once more on the ground. And the animals and birds and the creeping things in the ark came out also and began again to bring life to the earth. The first thing that Noah did when he came out of the ark was to give thanks for God for saving all his family when the rest of the people on earth were destroyed. He built an altar and laid upon it an offering to the Lord and gave himself and his family to God and promised to do God's will. And God was pleased with Noah's offering and God said, I will not again destroy the earth on account of men. No matter how bad they may be, from this time no flood shall come again to cover the earth. But the seasons of spring and summer and fall and winter shall remain without change. I give you the earth, and you shall be the rulers of the ground and every living thing upon it. Then God caused a rainbow to appear in the sky, and he told Noah and his sons that whenever they or other people after them should see the rainbow, they should remember that God had placed it in the sky and over the clouds as a sign of his promise, that he would always remember the earth and the people upon it and would never again send a flood to destroy man from the earth. So often as we see the beautiful rainbow, we are to remember that it is a sign of God's promise to the world. Your first step is to take your piece of paper, and we're going to draw a cloud on it. Your cloud might look a little different than mine, but that's okay. It's your cloud. So here's my cloud. The next thing you're going to do is cut your cloud out. So once your cloud's cut out, it should look something like this. Once you have your cloud cut out, I want you to write a message on your cloud. This message is what we learned today and what I really want you to remember from this story. So on our cloud, we're going to write God is faithful. Well, I want to write faithful as a rainbow. So F A I. T. H. F. U. L. I also want you to remember that God keeps his promises. So this is what your cloud should look like. It should say God is faithful, keeps his promises. The next thing we're going to do is make a rainbow to go with our cloud. So I'm going to turn my paper long ways, my second paper, and I'm going to shade in the colors of the rainbow. So the first color of the rainbow is red. 
So I'm going to color a nice red line. The second color of the rainbow is orange. So I'm going to color in a nice orange line. The third color is yellow, so after the orange, I'm going to have a nice yellow line. And then after yellow comes green, so then you're going to color in a nice green line. And then comes blue, so I'm going to color a nice blue line. And then after blue, of course, is purple. So after you have those lines cut in, we're going to cut them out now. So the next thing I want you to do is cut out all of your color strips. So I want to cut between my red and my yellow. So now I have a red color strip. You can see it. And then I'm going to cut out the orange one. So now I have an orange color strip and then I'm going to cut out my yellow one and my green one and my blue one and of course my purple one. If you want to add some more colors to your rainbow that's perfectly okay. I'm just going to stick with these six stuff. So once I have my six colors, I'm going to take my cloud. I'm going to put tape on the back of my cloud. You can do this with tape or you can do it with a glue stick. So I'm going to put my tape on the back of my cloud. My tape's a little too long, so I'm going to cut it. So after I put tape on my cloud, I'm going to put on my color strips. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So now we have our cloud and we have a rainbow coming out of our cloud. So this rainbow will help us remember the story of Noah's Ark. So the other thing I have for you is ribbon. So you can attach your ribbon to the back of your cloud with tape or glue. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it. And then you can hang up your cloud somewhere for you to see later and help you remember this story. It'll help you remember that God loves you. I hope I see you in Sunday school on Sunday. Have a good rest of the week. Bye.